and we've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks, everyone, for joining us here in the start of a new season. I'm Kevin Harlan, Clark Kellogg, and Mike Fratello are with me at the table. And on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. Mike, nothing quite like opening day in the NBA. A lot of optimism to go around as teams dream all season of winning it all. Yeah. It's the hope that kills you, though. <laughs> but half of the fun is finding out how great your team is along the way. Now, here's Jordan off the mark from 16 feet out. Macy against Green. Out to the right wing. Here's Griffith. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. They can't expect him to miss that shot consistently. Outside Jordan. Second shot opportunity. He lays it in. Well, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. Green deciding where to go with it. Cart right inside. Misses the lamp. He had him with that bump fake. And usually you can count on him to convert there. The D did just enough to throw him off. Michael Jordan on the wing. Let's it fly from 18. Good. He hits the jump shot. The mid-range is more or less wide open for Jordan. It's a go-to scoring area for him. Trying to find a way out of this rut, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. And the pass to Dantley. And he lays it straight in. You look at Dantley, he's six foot five. You expect him to be a jump shooter. But Adrian rather take it down low. Outside Jordan. Odom a screen. Here's O'Corn. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. This is his first free throw of the game. Mike O'Corn. Two shots. Shooting two. He's off on the first. He doesn't get the second one. Second chance shot. The shot by Odom, no good. Bad miss. If he could be a more assertive finisher inside, he'd be so much more effective. Green, the pass to Dantley. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Dantley's got his second bucket of the night. A scoring guard, Dantley figures out ways to put up numbers. Jordan looking around. Here's Odom. That's tipped. Outside, Green. 11 feet away. And it's Kite with the rebound. Hey, he managed to execute the crossover nicely, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't complete the shot. Outside, Jordan. Pass to Macy. Just five to shoot. Down low. Here's Odom. 
Denied for the third time. He's 0 for 3. The Jazz have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Passes it to Dantley. Here's Bailey, defended by Macy. Six feet out, and it's good off the glass. One of the game's better finishers, Dantley can also make plays for others. Michael Jordan on the wing. Fades back. Rebounded by Bailey. Utah leading. Outside, Green. Pass to Bailey. Here's Griffith. Over Jordan. Griffith can't get it to go. Jordan passes to Macy. Odom with a screen on Green. Over to the wing. The pass to Macy. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Jazz. Pass to Griffith. Pulls up from the corner. Offensive rebound. Bailey misses. Thing in the early going here. Pretty dreadful. 22%. Jordan passes to Kite. Here's O'Corn. Rebound, Utah. Cartwright's got four rebounds in this game. To the middle, here's Bailey. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Excellent distribution. That possession highlighting how important unselfishness is. Bailey's gotten two of his three shots to go tonight. And here is Macy, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Bailey. Here's Green. It's the target from 18 feet. And when you're guarding him... You've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. Here's O'Corn. The dish to Odom. To end the drought. And that one hits back iron. Green against Mason. 
Bailey. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Slowly but surely, building out this lead a little more. And the opposition better up their play as well if they want to avoid this getting out of hand. Now, here's Jordan. Passes to Odom. With the fadeaway. Rebounded by the Jazz. He just can't seem to get anything to go. He's in a bit of a rut. He's got to simplify things on offense. Concentrate on getting quality oh, looks and not settling for bad shots. Right out of the starting blocks. They've been dominant at the offensive end. And that early momentum has helped them put together a nice lead. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. Staying with it and looking to expand this margin. Hard-nosed takes like that will certainly help. to Macy. And Macy kicks it to Odom. Here's O'Corn. Shot clock at six. Looking to end the run, and there it is for him. Jordan's got his second bucket tonight. So many different tricks up his sleeve. Makes him a tough matchup. Green, the pass to Bailey. Macy against Green. There's the pass to Bailey. Here's Dantley. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Here's O'Corn. Pass to Macy. Now here's Odom. Macy with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Kite passes to Macy. Here's Jordan. That one a little long. Utah leading by eight. Inside, Bailey. Off with the layup. Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. From deep, Jordan. That doesn't go either for Jordan. 
and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. A good job preventing the layup. I think it's smart to make him earn it from the line. Yeah, intelligent defense there. The coaching staff encourages these guys to do whatever they can to avoid giving up easy Take buckets. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Free throws good from Green. Now West. To the inside. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Jazz? At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. The Jazz making a switch here. Richards is checked in. That's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's the Jazz with the ball. They're on a 16-4 run right now. Pass to Drew. No one near him. Two points. That one goes. And the Jazz lead by 10. Well, they had a plan coming into this one, and they have executed on it perfectly. Yeah, getting out ahead early on by stifling the competition on both ends of the floor. And it's White missing. Jazz have gone 50% from the field in the first quarter, 8 of 16. Bantley the pass to Houston. Here's Eaton. White covering. Eaton misses. And here's White. Misses off the left iron. Bantley the pass to Houston. To the paint. Here's Drew. A rim rattling two handed jam. They have set the tone in the paint, getting whatever they want. Well, not much resistance, and if things don't change, this could turn into a blowout. Outside White. A putback. Jazz leading by 10. Here's Houston. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Richards passes to Dantley. Six to shoot. Shoots over White. Here's Heaton. The second chance effort. Richards. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. Outside White to the wing right side. Fairhoven and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Shooting for the home team. Beaver Fairhoven taking two shots. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Brewer is checked in for Utah. Good on the second free throw. 
A minute 42 left in the first quarter. There's a screen. Houston passes to Eaton. Rebound by Neely. Outside, White. Fires at the elbow. He doesn't hit that one. So Utah will take it the other way. Drew passes to Houston. Here's Drew. Over Thomas. Drew misses. Outside Thomas. Out to West. There's 39 seconds left to play here in the first. Gets it down to single digits. Neely's got six. Just owning that painted area. I guess the motto is do it till they stop it. Pass to Drew. And there's the pass to Eaton. Here's Houston. And here is Brewer. Here's Drew. Back to Brewer. Over White. And it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. Checking in for your home team, Stewart Harrington. Now, here's Brewer. Over Stewart. Another miss by Utah. And so it's Utah. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. Glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And taking a look at the Jazz performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? So far, the defense has been excellent coming into this game. They're communicating, providing help when needed, and not giving up anything easy. You love to see this type of effort. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Utah. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Green's got the first basket of the second quarter for Utah. Stewart with it. Pass to Kite. Just his first attempt. The putback. Rebounded by the Jazz. Bailey's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Drew, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. No matter what the scenario, Drew finds a way to get things done. The Jazz have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And Utah making a change here. Cartwright's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. Getting a rough 22% so far in this one. Here's Stewart. Rebound, Utah. Here's Griffith. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And Green gets it to go. Assist goes to Daryl Griffith. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. 
It's Jordan on the wing. It's deflected. The length of Cartwright. Seven foot one. Disruptive. And Jordan gets it to go. Getting aggressive and creating a second chance opportunity. Exactly what coaches want to see. Green passes to Griffith. To the right side. The Jazz working the ball around now. Here's Bailey. No good on that one. Gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Passes it to Stewart. Baseline try. Yep, it counts. Stewart's got his first points in this one. Jazz leading by 11. Outside green. Pass to Bailey. Over to the left wing. Pocket six. Drew passes to Cart. Over Stewart. Cartwright gets the bucket. Great vision by Drew. Saw a teammate with a great look. Found him. Gone two of five in the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Jordan outside. Floats one up. The shot, no good. Jazz have gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Drew, good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got four assists in the game. They've literally been giving points away inside. I know Coach has something to say about that. And you have to address situations like this right away or it's just going to keep happening to you. Here is Jordan. He has six. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Second personal foul. Strong move in there by Jordan to draw the contact. It's his first trip to the line. Free throw good, Jordan. The blend of athleticism and scoring prowess Jordan possesses is insane. He's capable of destroying teams all by himself.
and so Jordan nails both of them. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Here's Green. Almost, but it rolls out. Gone two of six from the field in the second quarter so far. Outside Jordan. It's picked off. Here's Griffith. Here's Bailey. And the layup falls. Bailey's got eight points. Staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has got to tighten up. And Macy kicks to Jordan. The pass to Macy. Here's O'Corn. Now here's Jordan. Six on the shot clock. Get the floater. And that one's good. Tight. The defense that time totally outsmarted by Jordan with the pick and roll. Great way to create for another shooter. Jazz leading by 13. The drive by Green. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Clearly, he got it, no doubt. Good job by the officials. Yes. You are giving credit to the officials. The Jazz have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Green. And both free throws good for Green. Gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Outside Jordan, pass to Odom. Back to Jordan. And it's Utah with the rebound. Bailey's got nine rebounds now tonight. Green, the pass to Bailey. Boom, he jams it straight down. This is the creativity he brings to this offense. Fantastic at involving his teammates with his passing. Now Macy, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Passes it to Jordan. Shoots from the corner. Here's Kite. Plays it up off the glass. No defensive pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. Jazz leading by 15. Green passes to Dantley. Back to Green. Pass to Cartwright. Out to the right wing. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. Jazz passing it around. Griffith can't get it to go. Gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. Here he goes. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. He's forcing shots offensively, hurting his team in the process. He needs to trust his teammates more.
Here's Jordan. He's got eight. Parsons outside. That one off the back iron and out. I think there's way more they could have done there to try and open something up, get something a little better. Yeah, they settled for a poor shot when they didn't have to. Excellent lines of communication there. How about that, Clark? The pass, the catch, totally in rhythm. Beautiful. It's almost like they were in each other's heads. Well done. Now, here's Jordan. Kicks it to White. The feed to Parsons. Shoots a fader. Got a piece of it. Outside, Green. Now the pass to Baylor. On the wing, Green. Here's Cartwright. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got his seventh assist here tonight. Well, anytime you can work it inside to Bill Cartwright, you know you'll get a good look. Here's Mason. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. White finds Jordan. And he gets it to go. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Jazz. They've got the Hawks ahead of them in their next game, and it's in Atlanta. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. Cartwright gets the bucket. The story of their offense so far has been just that, getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Jordan outside. Macy up top. Outside, White. Pass to Jordan. Wants to get it to Odom and does. Shot clock at five. Fires from deep. Unable to get that one. And Utah the other way now. Griffith passes to Green. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Plays with so much ferocity, erasing that size mismatch clearly. He won't be bullied in there regardless of the height disadvantage. The Jazz shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Thirty-six percent in the second quarter. They really haven't found their rhythm yet offensively here. Passes it to West. It's tipped, and they get it back. Here's White. The rebound by the Jams. Green's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Richards. Here's Houston. It's deflected. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will retain possession. Here's Green, and it's blocked. And here is Thomas. He kicks it to West. And the layup's good off the glass. Use the pick, get space. Easy, smart basketball. Outside, Green. Here's Dantley, and yes, it's good. Dantley's got eight. I like that they're putting in the work, trying to build this lead out. Because in the NBA, no lead is safe. West outside. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Green. Eaton the pass to Dantley. The pass to Eaton. On the wing, Green. Fended by West. Dantley. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. He tried to use the fadeaway, 
get a little space. Not an easy shot to drain. Verhoeven, good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Jazz leading by 20. Green bounce pass. Eaton the pass to Dantley. Yes, that goes in. 10 points for him. Keep doing work inside. Close range looks like that will keep your lead safe. Stay on the attack. I agree. The defense has to shut the door on those kinds of shots if they want to turn this around. That one falls. Excellent vision on display. Dropping a dime to set up his teammate. Green against West. Bantley the pass to Houston. There's a good screen. Six to shoot. Driving the lane. And that one's good. Richards. At the last possible moment, he changed out of the shot and found the open man. Good decision. West against Green. Stewart's checked in for White. Drew's checked in for Utah. Brewer comes in for Green. And so here's the home team. Steps back. And it's blocked. And so out of bounds it goes. No key possession. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. Those kinds of plays are the ones that get you on the lead and help keep you in front. One ten left to play here in the half. Five on the clock. And Thomas, here we go. Got a hand on it. Here's Drew. He's got eight. Puts it up from 17. Here's Eaton. Got it. Good job in the low post. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now, they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. They set the screen. Stewart misses. And Coach, something you appreciate, the ball distribution has been terrific in this one. Yeah, they've showed how efficient their offense can be when they're this unselfish. And that one's good. Richards. Richards got four points now in the quarter. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Now, here's Stewart. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You know, the way his shot went so wide, pretty obvious he got fouled. Oh, yeah, plenty of contact there. At the line for two. Shooting two. That one is off. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. And so it's the Utah Jazz. Ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. The scoring has been tremendous. And they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. 
We've got more in store for you right after this. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Here's Eaton. Pass to Griffith. Cartwright up top. It's tipped. Outside, Jordan. Out in his own on the break. Here's Bailey. They get the rebound. Down it goes. Nice one there from Dentley. Dantley's got the first field goal the second half for the Jams. Being a low, low 30% right now on ugly offensive performance. O'Corn passes to Macy. Right side, Odom. Here's Bailey. That one drops for him. Bailey's got 14 points. Fantastic look. Excellent start to this second half. Easy hoops out of halftime. That really can get your team rolling. And another great look at the 2K drive. Taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the D and made them pay. Now here's Odom. Passes to O'Corn. Jordan high post. That's good from 17 feet away. He's got 12. Jordan getting quickly into the shot. No hesitation. Supreme confidence shooting off the pass. Pass to Griffith. Here's Dentley. And it's Kite with the rebound. Kite's got six rebounds now in the game. Michael Jordan on the wing. The pass to Macy. From 15 feet away. And it's Cartwright with the rebound. Cartwright's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Griffith, guarded by Jordan. Eaton the pass to Dantley. Down low, Bailey. And that was a foul, no question about it. He deserved to go to the line after that hit. The Jazz have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Green, he's checked in for Utah. And the second free throw, good. Macy with it. No points in the game yet for him. Michael Jordan on the wing. And the dunk by Jordan. Using his tremendous strength and body control. Jordan shrugs off the contact and gets the shot to fall. Green up on top. Defended by Macy. Green, the pass to Cartwright. Here's Dantley. And he banks in the layup. Dantley's got four this quarter. Carrying much of the load here in this one. Putting him out to a nice lead. Green against Mason. Great D that time from Green. For Utah, they've gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Here's Bailey. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. So consistent from the field. A folly outing for him. Michael Jordan on the wing.
Here's Kite. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Kite's got his third basket of the night right there. Smart approach to this possession. Working the ball inside for a point-blank shot at the hoop. Here's Dentley. That shot is no good. His fifth miss now in 12 tries. 32% overall right now. Not one of their better showings. Pass to Macy. Odom with it. Guarded by Green. Puts it up from 12. The rebound by Dantley. For Utah, they've gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. 17-foot shot on the way. And Green gets it to go. Green's got 15. Nothing wrong with the mid-range J to keep padding to the lead. And they gave him a bit too much space on that chance. Need to tighten up the D. Now here's Jordan. He's got 14. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. As a defender, you have to stay attached to Jordan. But here he notices him playing tight and wisely draws the contact. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Jazz. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Jordan. Both free throws, good for Jordan. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Utah. Passes it to Cartwright. To the middle. Here's Dantley. Off target at the rim. O'Corn passes to Macy. It's blocked. And that one ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. An emphatic rejection that was. Boy, you got to appreciate that kind of forceful in-your-face defense. Puts it up off the inbound, and it's Jordan. That time on the assist by Odom. Jordan's got 18 points in the game. The Jazz have gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts since halftime. To the left side wing. Outside, Green. Pass to Bailey. Just 5 on the clock. Here's Dantley. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now 8 for 14. That is how you use the shot fake, folks gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third shooting too many blanks in this one to stay close maybe try something different couldn't hurt at this point
substitution on the court. Jordan finds Parsons. West outside. Four on the shot clock. Green against West. A floater. Green, no luck. Gone four of nine from the four so far in the third. Green against West. Right side, White. Driving to the basket. That shot, no good. Well, I think he's out of his element in that situation. And credit the defense for shutting him down, locking him up. Green passes to Griffith. Here's Bailey. White covering. And the basket by Bailey. Bailey's got seven points for the quarter, being down near the 40% mark since after. They've been slow getting going. Here's Jordan, and he converts the layup. Firing on all cylinders right now. Jordan is showing no mercy and getting any shot he wants. Outside green, and he lobs it up. The alley-oop layup, very well done. Go to so good to see two guys on the same page like this. I know, it's like you and I, it's like they finish each other's sentences. Yeah, we know that feeling. Oh, we do. Or in this case, one finishing off the other's perfectly thrown pass. Here's West. After the basket by Utah. And it's Jordan slamming it down. How many other guys can do that? Michael Jordan, everybody. You can't top his showmanship. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Jazz. Utah the calls Jazz. timeout. I think the coach wants to fine-tune his lineup right here, looking for that magic combination, that ideal combination to be able to take advantage of this opposition. And he needs to let some of these guys catch their breath. Everyone is playing hard out there. Right wing. Nice ball movement by Utah. Here's Richards. Now the pass to Brewer. Here's Drew. Here's the screen. 
Going inside, pass to Richards. And he gets it to go from the corner. Richards got eight. Gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Outside, White. Parsons looking it over. It's White on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Drew. And it's blocked. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. The Jazz shooting an outstanding 53% for the game. They set the pick. Drew passes to Houston. Here's Eaton. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Slick move. Coming off the pick and going straight to the hoop. Parsons outside. Pass to White. Pocket six. Up to the right wing. And here's West for three. Rebound, Utah. Here's Drew. He's got eight. To the right side. A shot missing. Approximately 43% in the third quarter. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Here's White. Another shot and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. I don't think there was any question about that being a foul. Yeah, no debate here. We could clearly see the contact. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Two shots. Shooting two. First one falls. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And for the Jazz, they're shooting almost 60% from the field here in the third. They are really feeling it. Pass to Brewer. Here's Drew. Nice form on the 20-footer. Drew's got 10 points in the game. John Drew always hunting his shot, looking to get it to the rim. Thomas feeling it out a bit. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Beautiful reverse using his body to shield the finish. Nicely done. Here's Houston. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Drew gets the bucket. A nice sense of when to move the ball and get the assist. Gone 7 for 16 the second half from the field, shooting a bit under 50%. Stewart passes to Harrington. Now, Stewart. Great touch on the 16-footer. Stewart's got his second basket of the night. That kind of defense isn't going to get it done, especially when it comes to a scorer of his caliber. Houston passes to Drew. There's the pick. Goes up on the high post. Rebound by Neely. Neely's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And here's Stewart. 58 seconds left to play in the third. Utah is shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. Brewer's shot is off. Just 34% from the floor. 
Now, here's Stewart. Misses from close range. There's 31 seconds left in the third. And the pass to Drew. Here's Richards. Guarded by Stewart, 11 feet away. Here's Eaton. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Eaton's got four this quarter. Eaton able to go straight through that interior defense to get the score, holding nothing back. Stewart with it. Over Brewer. Stewart misses. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Utah out in front, running away with it. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And here is Macy. Michael Jordan on the wing. Second personal foul. And so it's Utah here with the ball. Here's Houston. Pass to Hanson. Kicks to Brewer. Passes it to Richards. Over Odom. Richards no good. Here's O'Corn. Out to the right wing. Left side, Jordan. Buries it down low. Jordan's got 24. And Jordan is simply amazing at finishing through contact. Doesn't matter what you throw at him or who, he finds a way to score. Here's Richards. Guarded by Odom. Richards, no good. He just 33% struggling to get good looks. Now Macy, outside Odom. Here's O'Corn. Five to shoot. And the shot is long. And Utah has possession. Clearly moving into the contact there. He wasn't planted or set. Yeah, pretty obvious where I'm sitting that the right call was made. And Utah making a change here. Forrest has checked in. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Brewer's shot is off. Gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Here's Macy. Rebound, Utah. Here's Hanson. Here's Richards. Pass to Forrest. Shot clock at six. Fires from the wing. And it's Kite with the rebound. Mike, they are desperate to find a basket. Hmm, they're having a really hard time out there. You're right. Doesn't get any easier than this. Working it down low and going to work. And the Jazz call time here.
Let's now take our opportunity to check out our player of the game. They continued to feed him throughout the game and with good reason. They realized he was hot, had the hot hand, and they wanted to ride that. And he refuses to let them down, coming through at every turn. On the road, in a tough atmosphere, he's taken on the role of star tonight. If one of their other players came up short, he picked up the slack to make sure they'll be walking out of here with a win. The Jazz making a switch here. Cartwright's checked in. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Poked away, and stolen by Jordan. And here comes the break. Pushing it up. Seven-foot shot. Tries again. And it's Kite missing. Jazz have gotten off to a rough start in the fourth quarter, going 0 for 4 so far. Oh, man. Clearly letting his emotions get the better of him in that situation. Yeah, this game isn't going their way, but a foul like that is only going to make matters worse. There's the pass to Brewer. The Jazz working the ball around now. Pass to Hanson. Four on the clock. Here's Cartwright. The Jazz again can't hit it. Gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Kicks it to Jordan. And here is Macy. Over Forrest. They grab their own miss. And the tongue by Odom. Position for success there. Excellent focus. Working that backboard. Boy, you said it. Able to grab it and send it right back in. And not taking any chances. He finishes the play strong. Here's Cartwright trying to end the drought. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Second personal foul. Using his size to his advantage. Like seeing Cartwright force the issue and get the whistle. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Have to appreciate what Cartwright gives you. He's a starting caliber center who's terrific in the post. And both free throws good for Cartwright. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Macy passes to O'Corn. Now here's Jordan, covered by Brewer. No good from Jordan. The Jazz shooting 49% on the game. They'll take that. Here's Forrest. Passes to Richards. On the wing, Brewer, guarded by Jordan. Down to five on the shot clock. To the wing right side, Dantley. It's good from long range. Dantley's got 21 in the game. We know Dantley loves to play from the foul line down. But right there, you see his range. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. Here's Jordan. Macy with it. Pass to Kite. Jacks up a three. The rebound by the Jams. Dantley's got his fifth rebound in this one. And there's the pass to Forrest. To the left wing. Here's Dantley. Defended by Macy. Tries again. Goes back up. Down it goes. Nice one there from Dantley. Dantley's got five points now in the quarter. Outstanding hustle on the offensive glass. This is why Dantley is an elite offensive rebounder in his position. Here's Jordan. Off the left rim and out. And right now, I think he's ready for this quarter to be over. I don't know if I've ever seen him this cold. Rough quarter indeed. The offensive rebound. Plays it up and banks it in. Dantley's got 15 points here in the second half. 
We see this all too often from Dantley. He's showing off the entire arsenal right now. Here's Jordan. Puts it down! Oh, my goodness! Gave that slam a little extra. Yep, he dropped every jaw with that finish. That might be the best dunk from him I've ever seen. Simply amazing. They set the pick. Here's Forrest. The open shot by Brewer. And the baseline jumper no good. And he can't let that miss eat at him. He's just got to come right back and take it again when left wide open. Now Macy. Pass to O'Korn. Now Jordan, covered by Brewer. Jordan can't get it to go. Utah shooting in this fourth quarter pretty dire at 27%. Here's Forrest. Nice D from Odom. In the fourth quarter, not pretty, down around 29%. Here's O'Korn. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And an easy call for the officials there. Yeah, don't argue that whistle. Pretty obvious. Mike O'Corrin. Two shots. Shooting two. That free throw missing. And Utah making a change here. And he's good on the second. Jazz shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Here's Houston. Passes it to Richards. Pass to Danley. Here's Richards. Nice ball movement by Utah. Here's Houston. Nice form on the 20-footer. Ron Brewer. And only 32% from the field. Plenty of signs of struggle by this offense today. And Macy kicks it to Odom. Here's O'Corn. The pass to Macy. Back to Jordan. Six to shoot. Pass to Macy. From outside the arc. The rebound by Richard. Richards got his sixth rebound on the night. Fourth team foul. Coming onto the floor for your home team, Peter Verhoeven. And here's Utah. They're on an 11 to 3 run. Passes it to Dantley. The layup off target. Gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Macy. The shot comes out, so Utah will take it the other way. Brewer, the pass to Dantley. Tries again, and that one's good. Richards. Just a touch more aggression on the defensive glass, and that could have been prevented. Yeah, they've got to get physical if they want to prevent those second chance looks. Now, here's Jordan over Brewer. A nice shot by Jordan. Jordan's got six in the quarter. And he could have gone straight up with it. But by fading away, this gave him more separation and allowed him security to drain it. Here's Houston. Over to the wing. Richards passes to Dantley. And the layup is good. Dantley's got 17 now, just in the second half. When he gets room like that, look out, because he will score. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. About as competitive a guy as I've seen, Jordan, finishing through the whistle. The Jazz making a switch here. Second team foul. At the line for your home team, Michael Jordan. 
at the line for one. One shot. The Jazz shooting 49% on the game. They'll take that. Pass to Dantley. O'Korn grabs the board. And 33% for the night. That's a big thorn in their side right now. And here is Macy. And there's the pass to Jordan. From the wing. Six on the shot clock. Rebounded by the Jazz. Eaton's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Kicks it to Brewer. Pass to Eaton. Jordan with the steal. Passes to Kite. Two minutes with Macy game. with it. Two minutes. From the stripe. The rebound by the Jams. Eaton's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Houston passes to Dantley. Here's Eaton out to the right wing. Pass to Dantley. Just four to shoot. Another shot, and it's good on the layup. And right from the get-go, they stood out as the better team. Their hunger to dominate and play for each other was outstanding for the Jazz. A dominant performance, Clark. A huge win for this team. Well, the coaching staff has to be pleased with how well the game plan was executed. It was a fun W as well. And I imagine the coaches are going to have a good night's sleep after this one. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. Every rebound seems to end up in his hands. How does that happen? He's having himself a game on the boards. Well, the work is done early. Reading the ball in the air, establishing position, it all matters. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Inside, Danley, and he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. Well, I tell you what, they've got to be proud of their performance coming into enemy territory and taking the win. Impressive. And it was a decisive victory at that. They've made a lot of fans unhappy here in this arena. Got a piece of it. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's the pass to Brewer. To the inside. Here's Eaton. And that one, good. Great game for him. Double-double now. 10 points and 13 rebounds. Now Macy... Jordan, left side. Pass to O'Korn. On the wing, Jordan over Brewer. Here's Kite. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. It takes physical and mental toughness plus to win on the road. Man, they crush it. They sure did. And, you know, in terms of talent, there's just no comparison between these teams. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For our terrific reporter David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in tonight. We'll see you next time.